Let's go back to your own scripture. Yeah, this is my own scripture. John 3, 6. Oh, here we go. Whoa. So, for God so loved. God don't love everybody. Since you read books. That book says that. Exactly. I know. That's hurtful right now. That's real hurtful right now. Get that. Huh? Let's get it. New Testament. Romans 9 and 13. Let's get it. And the book is open. The book is open. The book is open. When that come out, people hate that. They hate to hear that. Oh, not the white man. Please tell me God loves the white man. Keep going. Has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Ah, a drop that falleth from a vessel? I'm real thirsty. There you go. That's for the other nations. But for Israel, that's right. That's right. Oh, yeah. that's right. Oh, yeah. What you got for me? Your team soldiers or your students, whatever? No, we all soldiers up here. We equal. What's up? He said you're a good captain. Yeah, I'm a captain. Okay. okay. Yeah. They went, they went on a long journey to a mountain, a high mountain. They, they ain't coming back for a while. High. They were high. You, know, you know who that guy is there? Who? Moses. I pray to y'all that one day my people see them carry out. Spreading the word in them streets for my people not hearing us. I pray that we make it through the fire. This word gon' take us higher, yes I know. I pray to y'all that one day my people see them carry out. Spreading the word in them streets for my people not hearing us. I pray that we make it through the fire. No, guys hate the white man. Let's get it out of the book. The so-called white man, God hates. Read that. The book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 13. Uh-huh. As it is written. As it is written. There you go. Jacob, have I loved. Who is Jacob? As you already know, his name was turned to Israel. So the children of Israel, God loved them, but what? But Esau. But who? But Esau. But who? But Esau. He read. Have I hated. Drop the mic. I could go home. But I'm not because I'm here for my people. I'm not here for the other nations of people. Because nowhere in this book can you find that he's the God of all these other nations. No, he's the God of Israel, and that's it. To prove it, Luke 168. Let's prove it. Because we've been talking a lot, but these scriptures ain't been coming out. So get Luke 168. Let's see who he's the God of. Let's see if he's the God of everybody or just the God of Israel. And there are several scriptures that say this. That's why I say the book is open now. You're old enough now, even the scriptures talk about my son, be weary of many books that is written. None of them can compare to this one book here that is written by me, which is your father that's in heaven, and your forefathers. We're going to go back to the ancients, as Job told us, and listen to what your forefathers did. Don't do as they did. Follow the righteous ones, because you can't be perfect. I know the poor chop eating pastor said you can't, but the Bible said be perfect as I am as perfect as your father in heaven is perfect. Matthew 5, 48. But read that for the king. The book of Luke, chapter 1 and verse 68. Yep. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Lord God of who? Of Israel. Of who? Of Israel. Show me that of him doing that for anybody else. Let's stop. That's uh, Psalms 83. Let's get it. Keep going. You want a second? Um, Keep going. Is? We're going to get that too. Keep going. For he have visited and redeemed his people. Redeemed who? His people. Everybody. His people. See that his is what kind of word? A possessive pronoun. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. We read right And now. have raised up in horn of salvation for us. For who? For us. For who? For, for us. us. So everybody. For, for us. us. Keep going. In the house of his servant David. Who is his servant? David. David. And who came from David? Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Because yes. if you read in this book, there's no J's in this book, buddy. You can't find out one letter J in this book. And it's called the 1611 edition of King James. Why? Because if you understand the history of that, let's get it. Get that in history now. Let's get that in history now. No, because you know why he's putting this out? Huh? Let's go back to your own scripture. Yeah, this is my own scripture. John 3, 6. Oh, here we go. Whoa. So, for God so loved. Peep it. Love with an E-D at the end of it is what kind of word? When you put E-D at the end of a word, what is that? No, come on now. That's called past tense. So, in the past, who did he love? Yes, it is in the Bible. You want to get it? Let's read all. You want to spell every word out? Yeah. Yeah, he so loved the world. Now, let's get what word he loved. I Isaiah 45. Okay, I recite it. I recite it for you. John 3.16. For God so loved everybody that the 
the world, the world. Huh? The world. Oh, world. Oh, my bad, excuse me. For God so loved the world that whosoever believeth in him, that had him. Huh? Yeah, Hebrews 1 and 1. You see how they get the scriptures lined up? Well, let's just get it out of the book. So let's see what the scriptures say. Let's get it. John 3 16. God so loved everybody that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. The book of John, chapter 3 and verse 16. Uh -huh. For God so loved the world yep. that he gave his only begotten son yep. that whosoever believeth in him yep. should not perish but have everlasting life. Pause right there. Let's put a pin in and go home because God love everybody. But you know something they always forget to do? What John 3? Verse 15 and verse 14 say. Let's get that real quick. Let's go up a couple of verses and get the full understanding of who was talking because there was two Jews or two Jews talking. Matter of fact, it was two black men speaking to each other. Now, if two black people are speaking to each other, what would they talk about what's going on in Weston right now? What's going on in Coral Springs and all these rich places where these white folks, like House Point, for example. We're not talking about that. We discuss what's going on. Read that, John 3, 14, though. The book of John, chapter 3, and verse 13. Yep. And as Moses, what? As Moses. So this is what I'm talking about them, because they weren't even talking about the world, because they talking about as Moses did what? And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. In the wilderness, what? Even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Now what is he talking about right there? 21 to 6? Numbers? Come. There you go. 21 to 6. All the way to 9. All the way to 9? Okay. Let's get it. You there? The book of Numbers, chapter 21 and verse 6. Come. And the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people. Among the people, right? So mind you, you got to realize in this time, there's other people around the children of Israel. Because we had servants at that time as well. Keep going. And they bit the people. Uh huh. And much people of Israel died. Much people of who? Of Israel died. Of who died? Of Israel died. Oh, pinpointed who was bitten and who died. The children of Israel died at that time. But go ahead. Therefore, the people came to Moses and said, uh -huh. We have sinned. Yep. For we have spoken against. Again. What? We have sinned. You can only sin if the laws were given to you. You can't sin if nothing is given to you. Right. Because again, the scriptures only say in Psalms 147, 19 and 20, he only dealt with Israel. You know these words. Every other nation have, I have not dealt so like them. So they don't know the judgments of breaking my laws. But keep going. For we have spoken against the Lord and against thee. He spoke against the Lord and against thee. That's why the children of Israel died. But what happened? Pray unto the Lord uh -huh. that he take away the serpents from us. Yep. And Moses pay, prayed for the people. And that's what happened. That's what Yahweh Shah was talking about with Nicodemus. No, not Nicodemus. What was his name? The, in John 3, 16. Who is he? Nicodemus? Nicodemus. Keep going. And the Lord said unto Moses, uh -huh. make thee a fiery serpent. The same thing what Yahweh Shah just said, that fiery serpent. Go ahead. And set it upon a pole. And do what? And set it upon a pole. Now I wonder why the, the, that fire alarm truck, you already put it up? Why would that fire alarm truck ride around with a pole with two serpents wrapped around it? I wonder why. You see how the Bible comes to life when you put it against this good measuring stick? Keep going. And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. That you know? every one that is bitten, uh -huh. when he looketh upon it, shall live. Shall what? Shall live. live. Again, this is for the children of Israel because they're the only ones who's dying. So when they looked upon this serpent, they can live. Why do you think Yahweh shall use that as a metaphor for that? But let's keep going now. That's it on that? Now, next question. Because we got what was talking, they was talking about above. Let's see what John 360 was talking about. Let's break it down now. How many worlds are there? Buddy. Buddy, with a blue shirt on. Buddy. Your friend. Your friend. Question for you. Real quick, question for you. How many worlds are there? How many worlds are there? Here. What? Well, that's it's real simple. A definition word. How many are there? The one and two. There's what? One. There's only one. Let me throw a couple at you, and we're going to get it out of the scripture. You got that, right? John, Hebrews. Grab yeah, Hebrews for me. I got it. Sea it. world. Yeah. Plant world. As we were just talking about why the other nations didn't want to deal with Haiti. Third world. You see, and I can keep going. But let's see what world he was talking about, though, and let's get the definition of how many worlds there is according to the Bible. Get Isaiah 45, 17. You got that? The book of it's different, but let's get it though. The book of Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 1. I'll get the two. Let's get right to the point. Verse 2. Yep. Have in these last, so like it, have in these last days. This Hebrews 1 and 2, the New Testament, in the last days he did what? 
spoken unto us by his son. There go that us again. He spoke to the children of Israel by his son, Yahweh. Then he have appointed heir of all things. He's the heir of everything because he was the firstborn of man. Keep going. By whom also he made the worlds. The what? The worlds. Spell it for him. W O R L D S. Use that. Use that. Use that. W O R L D S. Salvation. Yep. Yeah. Shall not be ashamed. You shall not be ashamed. Go ahead. You shall not be ashamed. Nor confounded. Yep. Lord. What? World. Well, that world. World. Spell it for me. W O R L D. Now, see, they go that E D at the beginning of John 3 16. Because if you spell, let's pause. Get John 3 16 for me, real quick. Please get John 3 16 and let's spell that word love. Or is it a past tense? Because he loves somebody in the past in order to love him in the future. Keep going. Book of Isaiah, chapter 45, and verse 17. Uh huh. But Israel. But who? But Israel. Everybody. But is not going to end. Keep going. You shall not be ashamed or confounded. I'm not going to be ashamed to walk around and say God only loves me and he don't love no other nation of people. Keep going. World. What? Without world. Uh-huh. Without end. This world ain't going to end. So when the children of Israel take back their kingdom, it ain't going to end. Let's prove it. Israel. Two, um, chapter 2, 6 and 9. But read that. The book of John, chapter 3 and verse 16. Uh -huh. For God so loved the world. Spell that word. Loved. L-O-V-E-D. That's past tense. That's past tense, right? Go ahead. So we going to understand who he loved in the past was the children of Israel, according to Isaiah, a prophet, an Israelite. Now let's see why he said world without end. Ezra 6 and 9. This is the book of Ezra, chapter 6, verse 9. Uh -huh. For Esau is the end of the world. What? Who? For Esau is the end of the world. Esau is going to be the end of the world. Why? Because he hates Esau right now. Esau is ruling this kingdom. And he's doing a terrible job at it. Keep going. And Jacob. And who? And, and Jacob. And you already know Jacob's name was turned to Esau. I mean, uh, Israel. Keep going. It's the beginning of it that followeth. And Israel is going to be the beginning of the world once Esau kingdom fall. How do I know Esau run this world? There are several scriptures to prove it. Matthew, um, First Maccabees chapter 3, verse 48. What you was holding? Let's get it for um, the other second answer she was holding. And we're going to get that whosoever as well. I'm not even going to forget that. Because that's a lot of parts they like to harp on. Read that. The book of second answer chapter 6 and verse 54. Huh. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. Pause. You, you believe that, right? Adam, we come all come from Adam, right? He was the Lord of all creatures, right? Go ahead, let's keep going. Of him come we all. We all come from him, but what? And the people also whom thou hast chosen. Oh, he got a chosen seed line, the children of Israel. He don't have to go and point. He understand the wrestling with the angel. He didn't wrestle with nobody else. Keep going. All this have I spoken before thee, uh -huh. O Lord, yep. because thou madest the world for our sakes. He did what? Made us the world for our sakes. The most high God made the world for our sakes. He made this kingdom for us. He didn't make this kingdom for everybody. Keep going. As for the other people. As for the other people. Go ahead. Which also come from Adam. They also came from Adam. Every other nation up under the sun. Keep going. Thou hast said. What God said about them. That they are nothing. No, not my Jesus and God. They are nothing. Come on, man. Keep reading. But be like unto spittle. What? But be like unto spittle. I'm glad you're standing back there because I'm talking so much and I'm sweating. Spittle was coming out of my mouth. That's how the most I feel about it. Still a pull. Yeah. Keep going. And has likened the abundance of them unto all of them. Keep going. Has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Wow, a drop that falleth from a vessel. I'm real thirsty. There you go. That's for the other nations. But for Israel, that's right. Man. That's oh, right. Yeah. And now, O oh Lord, behold, these, oh, what? these heathen, uh -huh. which have ever been reputed as nothing, they were been, always been considered as nothing. What, what's going on now? Have begun to be lords over us. They're lords over us right now. I can't do nothing in their kingdom without going to them. Right. I can't get a birth certificate. I can't get a death certificate. Matter of fact, when toilet paper was running out, I couldn't even get that. 
Because this is their kingdom. Come on. You feel me? What else you got? It's more on that? It's a, the, so like, I'll get um, Matthews. Which one? one, first one, first one, first one first That's first second Ezra, chapter 6 and verse 54. You feel me? Get Matthew 15, 24. No, 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 no. We still, we still dealing with John. Get first Matthews. You want whoever, whosoever? Whosoever. Grab that. Get that set up. But read this real quick. So, so we can pinpoint who's this other nation that runs stuff. Keep going. Here's the book of First Maccabees, chapter three. So like, chapter three, verse forty-eight. Cut. And laid it upon, and laid up in the book of the law. They lay open the book of the law. Keep going. Why the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. I got you. Bro. You got to get that for me, Pete. They opened up my book, and they sought to paint the likeness of their images. This is theirs. This is not mine. Who is this person? He is a real person that lives. What's his name? Caesar Borgia. They got a show about him on Showtime. Look about it. First, Netflix. Mm -hmm. Netflix. Father, Pope Alexander VI of Rome. They understand all this. Keep going. Wait, that was it on that? Get whosoever now. What's the book of John, chapter 3 and verse 16. For God so loved the world. I'm glad you read that. Stop right there. Now read that. He so loved the world. Get that for him. The book of Joel, chapter 2 and verse 27. It's read. Joel, chapter 2 and verse 27. And ye shall know that I'm in the midst of Israel. The midst of who? Of Israel. Keep going. And that I am the Lord your God. No, everybody. And I'm the no. Lord your God. No, don't tell that sweet Jesus, please. And that I am the Lord your God. Uh-huh. And none else. Okay, so we got to keep going. Let's get it because it says whosoever. Now get that whosoever for me, please. For God so loved the world yep. that he gave his only begotten son yep. that whosoever yep. believeth in him yep. should not perish but have everlasting life. And you got that in Acts now? Let's see who that whosoever is. Keep the going. book of Acts chapter 2 and verse 21. This is further on after Christ and came back. Disciples knew who he was talking about. Let's get it. And it shall come to pass yep. that whosoever yep. shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yep. Ye, men of Israel, Ye men of Israel, ye men of Israel, ye men of Israel, hear these words. These are the words only spoken to the children of Israel. And, and you might ask yourself, why are they jumping back and forth? Why are they doing it like this? Isaiah 28, 9 and 10. The Bible tells us how to read it. I don't got to do nothing but follow the instructions. The instructions are here. Some people say it's basic instructions before leaving earth. I like to say it's the best instructions before leaving earth. But hey, who am I? You got it? No, I was going to pull yeah, I got it. I got it. All right, hold five and 20 real quick. <clears throat> Isaiah 28, 9 and 10. The book of Isaiah, chapter 28 and verse 9. Uh-huh. Whom shall he teach knowledge? Whom shall he teach this knowledge to? Go ahead. And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Who want to make to understand the doctrine that's in this book? Go ahead. Them that are weaned from the milk. You got to be weaned from the milk. The milk is the first five books of this Bible. And drawn from the breast. And you got to be drawn away from that breast. The breast is, as you know, is something that nurtures and brings you up. Keep going. For a precept. What? For, for a precept. precept. Uh huh. Must be upon precept. So precept must be upon precept. That must is a very important part. Because John 3.16, I don't hear no must when they use precepts when they read John 3.16. They read John 3.16, they'll stand up and do a song. They read it one more time to make sure that you're going to fill that collection plate. I ain't asked you for a damn dollar yet, and I'm not going to ask you for one. Because this word is given to us freely, so guess what we got to do? Give it away freely. Out here on a box. Don't give me like a piece of paper so quick. Say again? You have the book. It's the first five books. The first five books? You got it at home too? Use your phone. Huh? Because you got many books, and I can't teach you you got one. Come on, man. Because you look like a wise man to me. Hold on a second. You can't just go give me a sheet of paper and say, like, go here, D, C, Z, D, Patrick. Say again? You got to get the books so that you go. That's why we call it out every time before we read. Okay, we need to get, you got to get, you know, what I'm saying? You got to give somebody a book. They may not have, I may not have that Bible you have. You want one? You want your own for a book. Not just that. You got to understand. Now, mind you, I understand they got different versions. You feel me? You got the English Standard Version. That's missing 18 scriptures. It's cool because you still can't get around the basis of what this book is saying. Esau tried a good job at trying to hide it. But guess what? The prophets are back. That's right. The prophets are back in the streets, and we're going to keep teaching what we've been teaching. 
in our four lives. Huh? So, so we do do that. All you gotta do is come to the school. He tried giving you a flyer. So the address is 2937. What? You want a book? We trying to show you what I have. Book. I have to come to the school to get a book. Huh? And say it again. I have to come to the school to get a book. Why not? Then you're doing a bad job at it. Then. He just offered you a book and you turned it down. What did I say? You know what I said? Hold on. Tell him to download. You can download. It's, it's free. Right. Right. We have a phone. There you go. You want to use your There's phone? There's so many ways. There's so many ways. Yes. See how we manage the cheaper knowledge? Here, here, you want it back? Here you go. Let's see what you're going to do with it. Don't give it to me like that. Oh, no, don't because give it to him like that. He won't do that. He won't do that. You think Jesus was a man? My brother, no, how are you doing to today? To Come no. on. Let's see what Jesus will do. Luke 1927. Let's see how you're going to treat him then. Since you want to say what Jesus will do, since you want to say what Jesus will do, let's get it. Luke 1927. Because once I say here, you should say thank you. This is a million dollars, boy. Woo, 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 woo. Thank you for giving me this truth. The yes. book of Luke, chapter 19, verse 27. Let's see what sweet Jesus said. But those mine enemies, this is what sweet Jesus said. But those mine enemies, Read which were not that I have should reign over them. You don't, and you want Jesus to reign over you? Please give your life to Jesus right now. Come down over here and get on your knees and give me $100. Yeah, keep listening to that pork chop eat past and say all that. All I'm going to tell you is keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. Go study for thyself to show thyself approved. Unto the most high that's in heaven. Yeah, when this when this truth come out, they get to run it. Keep going. Bring hither. Do what? Bring hither. What Christ said? Bring hither. To what with him? And slay them before me. No, no, hug them. And slay them before me. No, give them some flowers. And slay them before me. No, buy them a Bentley. And slay them before me. No, give me a big house where I can get all these women. And slay them before me. No, no. Walk away wearing a hundred dollar shirt and, and two hundred dollar shoes. And twenty thousand dollar pants and slay them before me, huh? With yeah, with a shelf full of books. And you, you telling me you gonna spend ten thousand dollars on books, but you didn't go get the free book that you can get from any hotel? Come on, man. Our people are. Hello, how you doing? Can I tell you something about the McDonald's? Real quick, real quick. Now they done said it on TV. They done had documentaries on it. You feel me? When they say a billion people serve, how do you take that statement? If you look at the sign, it say over a billion people serve. How do you take that? See? See, you might think it's talking about they're serving you, but in fact, they're serving people. So that burger, that's a burger? Chicken nuggets? I want you to do this. Break open one of them chicken nuggets and get a microfiber glass. And when you see fibers all through it, hey, I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. Don't let it sit up for too long because you can break a window with it. That's all I'm saying. It ain't gonna mildew. That's all I'm saying. So we gotta be understand when we put certain foods in our body, it's not always healthy for us, because it's cheap. You feel me, sis? You hear me, sis? You my sister, I don't want you eating that. But all praise be to the power of Abraham, the power of Isaac, and the power of Jacob. That's right. We always bringing out this truth on the block. Hey, what you got for me? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see how quick you will doing that? He could've did the same thing. He got $10,000 worth of books. What you got for me? No, nah, we all soldiers up here. We equal. What's up? She said you're a good captain. Yeah, I'm a captain. Okay, okay. Yeah. They went. They went on a long journey to a mountain, man. A high mountain. They, they ain't coming back for a while. High, high. You know. You know who that guy is there? Who? Moses. Man. Yep. Moses. What would they call Moses today? Malone. If Moses was walking around here today, what would they call him? You, did you just say Moses Malone? You didn't hear me? You didn't hear me? Moses Malone, the rebounder. The rebounder. Check, check stats. That's my people, man. Now, how you doing today, sir? You drinking that water? It's hot out here, ain't it? I'm going to tell you something that's that hot. When the most high destroy this planet, that's going to be very hot. You feel me? And the only way to get through that is keeping these lost statue commandments. I want to see you with a righteous build on your face, walking around looking like a lion. Right. You hear me, Elder? Ain't nothing wrong with a little grace in the beard. Show them that you're a man and you're going to roar. You feel me, Elder? 